Hey everyone, welcome back to Olu Live HQ. We are back in the lab again, and today we're going to talk about one of the things that's really important to Olu Live, and that is how we manufacture and how we're set up for vertical integration and why that matters to us. I know I've touched on this a little bit in previous videos, but I wanted to do like a more in-depth video on our reasoning and logic behind it, as well as talk about our sustainability efforts and why vertical integration pulls out a higher quality product in our opinion. So first of all, I wanna talk about what is vertical integration? Uh, vertical integration, especially in the supplement industry, is controlling as much of the supply chain as you possibly can. Um, so in our instance, that means getting raw olive oil, taking the olive oil to our manufacturing facility, doing the extraction of the olive oil phenols ourselves with our own personnel in our own facility, taking those phenols, formulating them into a powder, taking the powder, encapsulating it, putting the capsules in the jars, putting the labels on the jars, quality control, quality checking all the jars, putting the actual heat shrink on the jars, putting them in a box, mailing them to Amazon to be distributed or directly to the consumer that orders them from us. So that's vertical integration in our, in our capacity. That could mean other things in other uh, supplement makers or supplement brands um, to them. But to us, like since we're doing the manufacturing, since we have a unique ingredient, that's what it means to us. The alternative and what a lot of brands actually do is hire out 90 plus percent of that process through a contract manufacturer. So, you know, what some brands may do, especially if they have an ingredient that's not novel, is they may find a manufacturer that offers this ingredient for sale. Um, I don't want to pick on anybody, so I'm not going to mention any ingredients, but and and have that contract manufacturer formulate the product to their specifications. You know, you want a thousand milligrams or a thousand micrograms of X, Y, and Z in a capsule of a certain size. They want a certain jar, they want a certain label, and all of it's essentially done for them. And then what they do is either have the inventory that they buy in bulk, you know, 10, 20,000 bottles at a time, uh, sent to either a distributor or sent back to them where all they do is mail it to you, the end consumer. Um, that works. That makes a lot of sense, especially for a small company, because in order to do manufacturing yourself, you have to get a lot of certifications. You have to do a lot of expenditure of capital in order to get the machinery in place. You have to have people dedicated to the manufacturing. It's training. It's record keeping. It's a whole lot of stuff that small companies can struggle with and a whole lot of expense, time to set up that they can struggle with. But in our mind, we care about the quality of the product so much we don't want to trust anybody else to manufacture it. We want to see it from beginning to end. In fact, future plans for Oleolive is to control the source of the olive oil as well. We want to be, if not the owners of the olive grove, we want to be the sole buyer from olive groves so that the oil is even picked or the olives are even picked at our timing the oil is pressed and made to our specifications and then we're buying all of that oil and then bringing it all the way through to the end goal product of Oligen. Um, that's really fully vertically integrated. Now that's the only step that, that we don't have. Um, so that makes a whole lot of sense, uh, especially to us. And also because our ingredient and our manufacturing process is novel. We have a patent on our process. We have some trade secrets involved in our process. and hiring those out to a third party would not only take a whole lot of extra time and expense, but also it would mean that they wouldn't know exactly how to do our process until we train them to do our process. And you know, you could probably see the reason that that would make a whole lot of sense to us because why would we train somebody else on our trade secrets, even if we lock it up with NDAs and lock it up with uh, a lot of legal agreements, it still exposes us to some, some business risk and the pro end product may not be the same. You know, it took us years to develop our process and we don't know how that will translate to other people's equipment, other people's manufacturing spaces or anything else. So that's a lot of the logic behind why we've chosen to be vertically integrated. Additionally, it helps us be very sustainable in our efforts to, to not be wasteful. 
we track almost every liter of water that we use. We track, track where the oil goes after it's extracted. We track almost every single milliliter of excipient or solvent or anything else that, that is used in our process so that it can either be recycled or be disposed of in a way that is environmentally friendly. That also translates into our packaging. We use unprinted cardboard boxes that can be reused for infinite number of things. And we only use one of them. We don't have a lot of inner packaging. We don't have a lot of outer packaging. We use glass jars with a label. We hope you find some innovative uses for the glass jars. You know, whether it's organizing nuts and bolts or who knows what, they're really nice glass jars. You can pull the labels off, throw them in the dishwasher and get, get most of the residue off so you can use them for whatever you wanted. Um, but we just don't want a whole lot of plastic. We don't want a whole lot of excess packaging being used for no real reason other than making the product look good. We think the product stands alone in its ability to shine. The packaging doesn't have to look great, but we also wanted something that felt premium, felt good, and could be reusable if you wanted to. So those efforts are really important to us as well. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I think the main point is that Oleolive cares about the product. We cared enough to spend a year setting up the process, setting up all of the externals before we ever sold a bottle. That way we could say, we know that this product is as good as it possibly could be at our current scale. In fact, you know, beyond where we currently go, like I said, the only way that we could see improving the quality of the product processing is by owning the oil process, which is you know, a pretty big step for us, especially as a small company. All of the capsules are currently made by hand. So like we have people in a clean room that are pressing the capsules in, in capsule presses, you know, two, three, 400 at a time. That will change and quality control will uh, be consummate with that change. But as of right now, it's all done by hand. And like, it's a lot, it's a lot to keep up with. It's a lot to build up inventory. But the other thing that it allows us to do from a vertically integrated perspective is it allows us to make very, very, very fresh batches. So by that, I mean, we try to only keep about 60 to 90 days of inventory on hand, and that is a moving target as our sales continue to grow. Then, you know, obviously, you know, if you have higher sales one month, if you multiply that by three, then your 90 day supply is gonna be greater. So you're always trying to hit that moving target. But by keeping 90 days of inventory on hand, it means that, you know, the oldest product that you'll get is about 60, 70 days old. And that's pretty unlikely in all reality. Um, even though it's shelf stable for well over a year, we want you to get the freshest possible product. That way, you know, we can obviously deliver the highest quality product to you. Um, so in keeping, in keeping the vertically integrated theme going, fresh product is, is we're able to make fresh product without being vertically integrated. If we bought 10, 20,000 bottles at a time from a contract manufacturer, you know, we may have a year's worth of inventory, especially at the beginning. You're not getting the freshest product and it may matter sometimes, it may not matter sometimes, but that's another reason for being able to do this. You know, we'll go and we'll spend a week or two just hammering out product in order to catch up to our 90 day target. And then one, we'll focus on sales. Then we'll go back and we'll make more product. Then we'll focus on sales. And it's kind of that iterative cycle that allows us to keep up and, and make the, the product as fresh as possible. So that's our reasoning. Um, I hope you learned a little bit more about the company. Once again, plug in Ologen, self-sponsored. Go buy it. Thanksgiving, we're on sale right now through December 1st. Currently, it's November 23rd, I think. We're on sale right now through December 1st with our biggest sale of the year, 30% off on Amazon, and we'll be 30% off on our website uh, starting on Cyber Monday, I think. And you know, if you now's the time to give it a try. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you learned something, and we'll see you soon.